Halloween with me. I hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. I have a lot of stuff, you know, planned. I have a lot of stuff yet to come, so make sure you're subscribed to see everything. Obviously, today's look is none other than Miss Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas, and this was quite the difficult one, I will say. I did do a whole torso thing, and this is about as far as I will show you guys. So it took me hours to do this look and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I have done Sally looks in the past, but they're not a um on with my wig. But they're not like true Sally looks, they're like mashups or like my own versions of her. So it's not like legit Sally. And I'll link all those down below. Well at least two of them, the first one I ever did, I don't have a video of. But the other two I do have tutorials of, so I will have them in the description box for you guys to watch if you want to check that out. If you guys would like to see how I created this Sally look, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so today's tutorial is a little bit fast paced, and I do apologize for that, but this look took me almost six hours. And I was just kind of all over the place with it, so I'm just going to try to quickly go through it. And since it took, it took me so long, the tutorial and all the videos were actually like almost three hours long, so I had to cut it down to 15 minutes. 16, I guess, to be exact. So it was really hard, but I tried my best, so that's why it's so fast-paced. But first, I'm just painting on her little dress. I kind of made my own little design with it, but I'm still doing the same patterns and colors in the same spots. So a kind of peachy color with the swirls on it. And then I'm outlining that area for my paints. I did use my Makeup Forever Flash paints for the peach color. And then for the black outlining, I'm using my Mayron Paradise paint in black. Then doing the other side yellow. And outlining that as well. There's no design on the yellow side, so I just left it as is. Then the there is a little area that is like a turquoise color, and I kind of wish I had done this part a little bit of a different color, or maybe a little bit lighter or more green, because her skin is basically this same color, so it kind of blended in, but that's okay. It's alright. She has some little edges there on the end of the shirt that make it look like it's all cut up. And then I took a big fluffy brush and kind of blended all that color out as well. Then I did the other shoulder, yellow. I went ahead and outlined the one side of the shirt. I didn't outline the other side yet, but I did the same thing on the other side as I did on this side. And then I went ahead and did her skin tone just on my chest and my arms for right now. I just dotted a, like that um, turquoise color, which is Makeup Forever flash paint. Sorry, I get them mixed up. And then also a Makeup Forever flash paint in white and just kind of blended them together and mixed them and used a big fluffy brush to kind of blend it all out on my chest. I also took it down my arms. I took it past my elbow so you couldn't see it in pictures. Then I'm taking my Mayron Paradise paint in black, and I am cutting out my neck and the top of my shoulders because Sally has a skinny neck. That's how Tim Burton does like all of his characters. He makes them have really skinny necks, so I am trying to replicate that somewhat. And I'm also cutting off the tops of my shoulders there from where my collarbones meet and then out. Using a black background will make this look like it's not there. It's kind of like doing a negative space type of thing. Then, I don't really show too many products for this, I'm so sorry, but I am using my Morphe 35C palette for most of the shading. I'm taking a dark teal color first and doing the shading around the dress, 
and doing a little bit around the neck just to kind of make it look more rounded and like it is my actual neck that I drew on. And then I take a much smaller brush with black and blue mixed together and I go right up against those black lines that I painted to make it look more shaded. And I just blend it into that darker blue and then blend it into the skin tone a little bit. Now I'm doing her stitches on her chest. She just has one going straight up and down and then one that's kind of curved going across. And I just kind of sketch it out with a eyeshadow first to make sure I got the shape right. And then I went in there with my black paint and a Bedellium Tools SFX brush. I'm using a lot of their brushes today, and if you go onto their website to their SFX brushes only, you can save 20% off by using the code CANDYCORN. This is not a code where I get anything from it, it's just for you guys to use because these brushes are amazing. It's like a set of six brushes, and they're awesome. I use all of them all the time. Then I'm taking that same teal shade and I'm kind of shading around the edges of the design I made for her stitches, but I'm not going all the way up to the black line. I'm just leaving it kind of like a white space before I go to the black line. And then I'm taking my LA Splash Cosmetics Pro Artist Liquid Liner in Alabaster, my favorite white eyeliner. It's so creamy, I always say that. And then I'm going against those that negative space where I didn't bring the shadow to and I'm putting white in those areas to make the skin look lifted. If there's stitches, the skin is kind of torn apart. We want that skin to look lifted and like the black area is where like the blood would be. But Sally's a doll, so there's no blood, you know? And I'm just kind of deepening those blue lines against the white. Doing the stitches, I kind of go more in depth when I go to my face for this, so I'm just really quickly going through this part on my chest. Then I'm shading the yellow side of my shirt. I also shade the teal side of my shirt. I paint in my arms and I also outline those little jagged edges on the shirt. And then I start shading in those areas as well with the teal and the black like we did on the chest with the shirt. Just doing that on my arms now. Moving on to the face, I put on my wig from Eva Hair Official. It's a really pretty natural red wig. Sally's got long red hair, so this is perfect. Just putting those sides back so I can do my makeup without it getting in the way. I primed my face first, and now I am going to block my brows because Sally actually doesn't have any brows. So I'm using my Elmer's Washable School Glue Stick. But first, I'm gonna prime my lids with my eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay in Eden. Priming both of those lids because we are gonna be doing a lot of shadow on them today. And then I'm gonna take that glue stick and just run it right through. I've done this so many times on my channel, guys. Let me know if you want a video specifically targeting this one thing, which is covering your brows. I run that glue stick back and forth a few times through my brows and I lay it down with a spoolie and then I run the glue stick back over it about two times and let it fully dry. And then I put my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder on top. And now we can paint. I'm not going to do any color correcting because it is blue paint and usually colored paint just goes right over the brows. So I am doing the same mixture we did on the chest and the arms, a little bit of that turquoise color mixed with white, blending it all together. And I lift up my wig too to get underneath of that. And then I do a couple layers on top of the brows just to make sure they're fully covered. Starting with the shadow, I am taking that same teal color we use on the chest from the Morphe palette. And I'm putting that into and above my crease. I'm not doing it very perfect, honestly, but I did blend it all the way up into my skin tone. Obviously, Sally doesn't really wear any makeup. I mean, I don't think so. She looks like she might have red lipstick on, but that's about it. So I'm trying to make it look more like shadows than eyeshadow, like natural shadows, you know? Then I take 
some more of that teal shadow mixed with a little bit of black and I put that right into the crease to kind of define that. And I'm doing this in a round sort of shape to make my eyes look more round since Sally's eyes are so big and round and circular and my eyes aren't like that. So I'm trying to replicate that shape somewhat with my eyeshadow. Then I go onto the lid with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in Chantilly. That's the shade it is. It's like this ghastly white. And I'm just cutting out my lid to make it more round. Again, packing it with some white eyeshadow and then taking that blue shadow and kind of cleaning up that line so it's not so messed up and it's a little bit more circular. Finishing up the face, I'm just kind of highlighting some areas like my under eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, my cupid's bow, and blending that into my foundation, if you will. I just wanted to highlight some areas like you naturally would if you were doing glam makeup. And then I do go back in with another bedellium tool and just set that with my translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. It does have a little bit of a yellow cast, so be careful with it. Try to do a little bit of a light layer. I'm lining my waterline and going below that onto my lash line with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I want to make that eye look super round again, like I said, so the thicker you do it on the bottom, the more round your eye will look. I'm taking that same teal shade and I'm following the shape of the liner I just did on the bottom. Again, making it look more circular and I'm taking it all the way from the outer corner, connecting it with the shadow on the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. And then I realized I kind of went out too far there, so I'm just kind of cleaning up the side there to make the shadow look more round. I don't want it to look like a cat eye shape, I want it to look round. And then I'm just kind of blending everything out and kind of smoking it out on the bottom there. I'm going to create some fake little lashes. Now she has like stick lashes. I'm only going to do this on the bottom though. I am going to use a real pair of lashes for my top lashes. So I'm just creating five little stick lashes there on the bottom with my Mayron Paradise paint. And then I am doing a little line where my white eyeliner ends on the bottom there. And then I'm also doing it on the top in my crease. Again, it's just going to make my eyes look more round and give the illusion that that is my actual eyeball. Somewhat. And I'm connecting it all on the side there. Taking my Marc Jacobs mascara, it's a super voluminous and thickening mascara. I don't know why I said that so weird, but I did. I'm just applying that to my lashes, letting my lash glue dry on my lashes, and I'm doing a little bit of contouring. And here I did the scar on my face and I applied my lashes. I went through some trouble right in that area with my phone and my computer and nonsense so just getting right back into it I applied these really crazy dramatic lashes I'm doing a line of liner above it just to kind of blend them in and I'm doing the liner pretty round to make my eyes again appear more round and then I'm doing some more contouring on my forehead I did some on my jawline and I'm doing some on my nose I apologize for the lighting here I don't know what happened but it goes back to normal in a second I wanted my nose to look pretty slender since she has almost a non-existent nose so yeah then blend that out with your brush or your beauty blender. And here I was like, okay, this is, whew, I need to finish up now because it was getting to be too much. But now I am doing these stitches on her mouth the same way I did it on my face and on my chest. I apply that black line. I'm doing it kind of thick, not a super thin line. And then I'm doing the shadow around the edges of it, not all the way up to the black line. I'm leaving a little space before the black line and the shadow meets. Meat, not meats. I, I'm sorry. I can't speak. And then I'm doing that white liner in that area between the shadow and the paint. Then I'm kind of deepening up the shadow after I do the white liner. 
And now I'm doing the stitches. I'm doing some that are just single, some that are little X's, some going in different directions. I did two on each side for my face, though I didn't want to have too many and clump it all up and make it look clustered and, you know. Then I did little notches where these stitches would be going into my skin. And then I'm just doing a little line of gray underneath, not all the way up to the line, but so it looks like they are kind of lifted on my skin and sitting on my skin, creating that fake little shadow basically to give the illusion that they're on top of my skin. And then doing the white liner on the top to cast a highlight on top of the shadows. Last but not least, we're going to do our lips. I am taking two different colors from the Wickedly Divine Liquid Lipstick Collection from LA Splash Cosmetics. First, I am doing Queen of Hearts because it's a deeper shade and I'm just doing it in the center. Then I'm taking Ursula and I am filling in the rest of my lips. So it's a brighter red and I really liked that shade, but I did want to mix them together. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. Please make sure you're subscribed to see all of my other tutorials. Go back and check out the rest of them if you haven't seen them. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a very requested look, so I hope y'all loved it. I'll catch you next time.